Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie H. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement, and a reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus chapter 3 Now Moses was keeping the flock of Rahul, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the back of the wilderness and came to God's mountain, to Oreb. The always angel appeared to him in a flame of fire out of the middle of a bush. He looked, and saw that the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. Moses said, I will turn aside now, and see this great sight, why the bush is not burned. When Yahweh saw that he turned aside to see, God called to him out of the middle of the bush, and said, Moses, Moses, he said, Here I am. God said, Don't come close. Take your sandals off your feet. For the place you are standing on is holy ground. I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. He always said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people who are in Egypt, and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters. For I know their sorrows. I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of the land, to a good and large land, to a land flowing with milk and honey, to the place of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jezebite. Now listen, the cry of the children of Israel has come to me. Moreover, I have seen the oppression with which the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now, therefore, and I will send you to Pharaoh, that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Moses said to God, Who am I? that I should go to Pharaoh, and that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt. God answered, Certainly, I will be with you. This will be the token to you that I have sent you, when you have brought the people out of Egypt. You shall serve God on this mountain. But said to God, Listen, when I come to the children of Israel and tell them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they ask me, What is his name? What should I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, You shall tell the children of Israel this, I am, has sent me to you. God said moreover to Moses, You shall tell the children of Israel this, Yahweh, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever. And this is my memorial to all generations. Go and gather the elders of Israel together, and tell them, Yahweh the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, has appeared to me, saying, I have surely visited you, and seen that which is done to you in Egypt, and I have said, I will bring you up out of the affliction of Egypt, to the land of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Zegebrite, to the land flowing with milk and honey. They will listen to your voice, and you shall come, you and the elders of Israel, to the king of Egypt, and you shall tell him, Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews, has met with us. Now please, let us go three days' journey into the wilderness, that we may sacrifice to Yahweh our God. I know that the king of Egypt won't give you permission to go. No, not by a mighty hand. I will reach out my hand and strike Egypt with all my wonders, which I will do among them. And after that, he will let you go. I will give this people favour in the sight of the Egyptians, and it will happen that when you go, 
you shall not go empty handed. But every woman shall ask of her neighbour, and of her who visits to her house, jewels of silver, jewels of gold and clothing, and you shall put them on your sons, and on your daughters, you shall plunder the Egyptians.